Good evening. My name is Les Hill. I own a small business. Less is more coaching. And tonight, I'm going to talk about civility. It's a time of deepening political divisions in the United States. With people on opposite ends of the political spectrum. And it's been growing for decades. And I'd like to start with just sharing with you the definition of civility, according to Merriam-Webster. It has a couple of definitions. Civilized conduct. Civility, courteous, politeness. And the second, a polite act or expression. The example they use there, the men briefly exchanged civilities before the meeting began. Today I was asked to speak about civility. The thing that I noticed is where do we get trained about it? Who teaches civility? Today our parents are working, they're even though I'm amongst the COVID-19 that we're dealing with, parents are busy. They're now working from home, a lot of them. There's no classes about this. So I did a little research. And what I came up with was a quote that I really, really, really enjoyed. And it's, civility is the baseline of respect that we owe one another in public life. That was quoted by Keith Bybee, the author of How Civility Works. And he goes on to say, and when people talk about a crisis in civility, they usually are reporting their sense that there is not a shared understanding of what that baseline of respect ought to be. Hmm. I pondered that. And then I looked at one of the things I currently don't necessarily agree with, um, with our president, President Trump. I've respected him for a lot of his business acumen um, there are many viewpoints about that out there. I've respected him in business for the most part because I don't know all of the inner details that a lot of people learn and say how bad he was or how this. What I didn't like and what I continue to um, be frustrated by is his texting, his tweeting, his languaging of calling somebody a loser or dumb as a rock or fat pig and when he's describing his critics and animal calls animals to immigrants. And I look and I go, that doesn't harbor respect. It's not very civil. The question tonight is, where are you not civil in your language? Where do you say things about people in different jobs, in different positions, where you are suddenly not responsible for what you're saying and how it is heard by the people around you, by your kids, by your significant other? How much do we change when we're upset? Where does our degree of civility go to when we get defensive, when we're excited? These are all things that, for me as a coach, I look at studying with my clients. I just finished reading an article about nonverbal 
communication. One of the things I do a lot of work with every single day. And the telltale signs and one of the things that was spoken about was something that made me laugh and I thought I would share that with you um, from this speaker. He was saying, why do we bite our lips? And, and he jokingly said, well, we're, as adults, we can't stick our thumb in our mouth and pacify ourselves. So instead we chew the inside of our lip um, as a way to pacify ourselves in the moment. And I heard that and I thought, gosh, are there things that we do in the world of civility to pacify people, to look good around certain groups, sound good, or not look bad? I invite you to take a look at your own life on the eve of Easter and say, see where in your life can you take your level of civility from here to here? And what kind of difference would that make in sales? What kind of difference would that make in demonstrating to your employees or to your kids the seriousness of what it is to get related, to be vulnerable, to make a difference with another human being. I challenge you. Have a great night. Thank you for joining me again. And God bless.